Hey everyone, it's me Gavin Vengeance and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new version 1.3 special program for Zenless Zone Zero called Virtual Revenge, which should be focused on our brand new character Sukashiro Yanagi, who is a member of HSO6 that we did encounter at the Scott Outpost and as well in Hollow Zero when we were raiding against Nineveh. So again, I'm really anxious and eager to check out where the story is going to be going within this patch and also meet our brand new characters. But first, I would highly recommend that you guys give the video a thumbs up if if you do enjoy the reaction and then also consider subscribing to the channel for more Zenless Zone Zero content. Now with that being said, let's dive into it. The bureaucracy. <clears throat> okay, so it looks like we're probably going to be getting a way. brand new explorable area. Although there are a high level organization involved in city administration. Hand mainly handles matters related to hollow disasters. As a Sweet. specialized agency, Hand needs its own armed new explorable forces, area. Which is That's what I'm talking about. Hollow the Hand Headquarters. Blessing in the sense that Whoa, dude, holy! That art, though. Hand will definitely rescue you. Sheesh, dude. Members, <laughs> members are all pretty eccentric. So I got some fans. Hope the best. Well, I'd definitely be like the girl with the uh, Miyabi shirt. Mail, but don't worry, everyone. There is one normal person among them that you can rely on. You mean Miss Yanagi, right? That's right. Yanagi. And the okay. story we are about to witness also revolves around Miss Yanagi. Dude, Everyone knows now that she looks SLC incredible. Is part of Hans armed forces. <laughs> and that the team members Holy are smokes. All highly capable fighters. The founder and team leader, Miss Hoshimi Miyabi, yes, is particularly please. exceptional. But is Miss Yanagi's guidance that transforms the raw power of Section 6's field agents into an effective asset in battle. Sounds like Miss Yanagi is the brains behind the team. <laughs> you could put it that way, but if you want to know more... Let's play the VCR! VCR? I'm sure everybody knows what a VCR is now, right? What's wrong, Deputy Chief? It's probably just my imagination. But I feel like something is about to happen. Dude. Hello, Special Operations Section 6, Heroes of New Eridu. I'm afraid no one in this world needs your salvation. They all look so damn cool though, right? Oh, Holy crap! We're gonna have a whole new syndicate to deal with? People like this. The special monster we're looking for must be you. Oh, dude, it is about to go off. Yanagi looks amazing. Those animations are peak. All the while, of course, with the classic push of the glasses as well, right? Absolute badass. Dude, I love her. <laughs> Must have. Lighter. Lighter. Sons of Kalanon. I'm here to issue a challenge to all of you. Holy shit, dude. I love it. <laughs> I love it. To deal with you, fists are more than enough. You've got a plan to take my death. What a badass duo, man. I gotta have both of them. This is gonna be freaking sick. Looks like we'll have to find out the truth ourselves. Okay. We get to special, episode. special episode. Dude, that art though. Anyway, thank you for sharing, Woo! Woo! I can't believe I didn't Man. know about this intel. I love it. Failed, In Lighter's agent story. Oh, dude! Holy shit! From the sons of Caledon. Oh man, it's giving me big time girl log on vibes, is all I'm saying. Again, in the sons of is <laughs> Holy crap. Readily accepts challenges I love that art. To the arena. Okay, so we're not getting a continuation of the main story in version 1.3. Huh? We're moving on. We're just getting a special episode right, for each of them. Into the intel on Ms. Or well, an agent story, I guess, for later, right? As you can see, but I'm the one here we go. the info this time. Yanagi. Uh, Yanagi, dude. A member of Section 6 and a I gotta have her. <laughs> electrifying attacks. Seriously, Electric anomaly. Care that I'm the one who got this info? I'll see her in battle. She wields a Naginata that matches her slender frame. In combat, she uses a dude, combination she of styles. Dude, she looks so damn sick. 
Her special attack lets her attack enemies while changing her stance. Yanagi's available moves will change depending on her stance. Oh, okay, so she's gonna be a stance buffs. user. These buffs remain in effect for some time after Yanagi switches stances. Simply put, as man, as you keep a good rhythm the animations are stances, so clean. Yanagi can continuously receive the buffs from both stances. Also, after Yanagi switches her stance, every time she deals damage with a basic attack, that is badass, dude. Increases. When she unleashes her EX special attack, Yanagi enters Shinra Bansho state and switches her stance. She charges up and rushes in with a forward step, followed by a powerful downward attack dealing electric damage. That is so if the damn cool. Is under an anomaly, Yanagi will trigger a special disorder effect without removing the target's anomaly. Oh, whoa! Now, let's see this in action. Friggin' music too, though. <laughs> the beats are just banging. Bernice? In combat, you can switch Yanagi in to unleash her EX special attack after her teammate triggers an anomaly, dealing extra damage while applying debuffs. Okay, so follow-up attack. In such cases, Yanagi deals massive electric damage while switching from stance to stance to maintain her buffs. There is none of the usual gentleness that Yanagi seems to exude when activating her ultimate only intense focus. That's so cool, man. I love the way that animation slashes. plays out. Trust me, you don't want to be on her bad side when she gets serious. Complete Agreed. badass. In her day to day life, Yanagi is still a gentle person. And I can see she how she's going to like pair with a lot weird. of other characters oh, as well. Got more details to share? Great addition to the <laughs> roster. I can't give away everything just yet. Now let's shift our focus to lighter. Here comes stunner. Lighter. Okay, so he's a, rank, he's fire a fire stun base agent. stunner. If you saw our last special program, you probably still remember. I wasn't this expecting cool him to be dude. a stunner. For some reason, I was thinking he was going to uh -huh. be an attacker unit. Indeed, he's a proud member of the Sons of Caledon, no doubt. With those golden gauntlets and that red scarf, he certainly stands out in a crowd. So he's but gonna be the be told, uh, the second banner, I guess, right? With uh, version 1.3. And of course, he uses his fists in combat. Dude, that's sick. Freaking fast as heck punches. In close range combat. I love it. <laughs> it's like straight into JoJo. Ah, oh, jeez, dude. In this state, he consumes morale and increases his impact to quickly stun his foes. Heck yes, his man. His attacks also reduce the target's fire and ice resistance and makes them stunned longer. I want to see him compared to, like, Kaleida. Oh, dude! He totally just did! Or his sons of Caledon friends, he allows his teammates to deal more fire and ice damage when he hits enemies. Oh, shit, dude. The JoJo reference. Too good. During combat, Lido recovers morale as his teammates face off against opponents. Once Slider is ready to roll, you can use a quick assist to switch him in. He okay, so he's kind of like metered as well. Uh, similar to Bernice, right? Dodging attacks. This helps him stun enemies quicker, setting up his team for some serious DPS. And when it's time for his ultimate, Letter slams the ground with a powerful Dude, punch, that's sick. dealing massive damage and that is sick. nearby enemies. With his fiery fists and powerful fighting style, Lighter sure is a hot one. Dude, he's badass. Uh, right, got it. That's all for our new agents, but let's not forget our new Bang Boo, Batty Boo, and Batty Boo and Night Boo. Two new Bang Boo? Any chance they'll help get our okay. Mahjong game going? We're still short two players, you know. Hmm, I don't think so. <clears throat> Let's stay on track. If they were shown in the trailer, I didn't recognize them. Can signal search oh, oh, oh of course we know Batty Boo. A rank Bang Boo, Batty Boo, and may also get Night Boo as a reward from the event, the mystery of Arpeggio Fault. Okay. Just cool. So you know, Free reward. The only way to obtain Night Free Bang Boo now will be from that event. Betty Boo is an A rank Bang Boo who uses rockets and Molotov. I, I was wondering when that uh, Bang Boo was going to be available, right? When we got skill. to see him in action. When teaming up with an agent and activating a chain attack, I like Bang it. Boo leaps forward and shoots a rocket, dealing fire damage in a large area ahead. Take them all out with one what the freaking heck is that? Very nice. 
What the? Now our other A rank bamboo, Nightbull, can summon stars. That's like a unicorn floaty. Collecting those stars restores energy for agents. When activating a chain attack, Nightbull summons three rainbow ponies. The ponies trample enemies ahead, dealing ether damage. With these new agents and bamboo rare, okay. let's talk about signal searching. That's interesting. In the first half of version 1.3, Proxies will have access to the exclusive channel Moonlit Serenity and the W Engine channel Dissonant Sonata, where you can obtain the exclusive S rank agent Sukishiro Yanagi and S rank W Engine. I got a feeling Tom that uh, Yanagi is going to be very half, much pulled on. Exclusive channel Champion of M and lighter as well, though, to be honest with you. They channel, both look fantastic. Sonata will be offering exclusive S rank And I like the design of both W Engines, too. Engine Blazing Laurel. Man, I do not have enough polychrome save for this or master tapes. <laughs> I do have enough boupons though. Also, many of Man, I've got I've got some grinding ahead of me. Is all I'm saying. Trust rank four with characters. Here are Yanagi and Letter's dynamic backgrounds. Ooh, those are nice. Better get those trust ranks up. Yeah, it's good. And don't forget the new it's good. Boo. These new friends are itching to team up with I like you lighters more. Maybe we can squeeze just because he's kind of just hanging out at the bar. I like that. Perhaps Dude, that that is uh that, that is a right mood. <laughs> what topic should we talk that about? That is a chill vibe. Maybe. Tokens. Okay. Which proxies can earn from story broadcast and warm-up exercises. And then exchange them for rewards. In Sugishiro Yanagi's yeah, we'll take more rewards. We schedule, like that. Moonlight traces, Probably gonna need them because luck Sugishiro just hasn't Yanagi's been on my side when it came to uh, any of the signal searches that Meanwhile, I've had to do in recently. TV schedule program, the champion. Not only can you find lighter story and stages, he can also check out the special play in which players can use lighter across a series of horizontal. Buttons. Oh, that is friggin' cool, man! Like an old school beat 'em up. Of course, we can't let Lighter fight alone. At the oh, start I love of that. Stage, it gives me like Final Fight vibes. <laughs> an agent as a supporting character. Call them All in of at that. the right times to summon them and have them unleash their skills. Timing your support Heck yes, man. Right can lead to additional buffs. As for our combat lovers, we've added a new permanent gameplay mode. Permanent gameplay mode? Battle trials. By fighting battle after exhilarating battle, proxies can steadily climb higher on the tower. Oh, we're Off getting the tower now, hey? Okay, okay. Reaching a certain floor. The higher you climb, the shinier your metal gets. But please keep this in mind. Is there going to be a the leaderboard? The you climb, the tougher your opponents, and your agents won't recover. Oh. Until you complete the entire phase. Oh. Like your HP, for example. Agents will retain the amount of HP they had from the previous battle. When an agent falls in battle, proxies can select a replacement from their reserves. As you keep going survival the challenge, mode, you'll unlock more agents to choose from. Yep. And enemy abilities will get stronger in simulated battle trials, too. For example, when you beat one of the twin bosses, they resurrect faster than in regular fights. Great. You just absolutely fantastic. Just, that tower. just the best. Forward, just the best. In addition, we're adding a new roguelike gameplay mode in Hollow Zero called yes! The Mystery of Arpeggio Fault. This mode is split into five chapters. Each chapter has multiple floors of randomly generated areas waiting to be explored. As you can yes. see, in this mode, proxies will encounter various events as they explore using the HDD. You can fight enemies by ramming their tiles and defeat them by literally bumping into them with sufficient combat power. In addition, you can even okay. lead some NPCs via board combat. Like this innocent shopkeeper here. <laughs> Let's help ourselves to all the loot. That's like interesting. The store owners can't resist the proxy's sheer power. I mean, their sharp wit. Also in this game mode, instead of applying to combat, Rizonia will affect the HDD TV monitor board. Okay, so the this is going to be strictly will show up TV a mode. Special Bang Boo Rizonia. Following Doesn't look like there's like any combat involved with this. During exploration, proxies will gain EXP which can be used to activate the Blessing Group. 
chosen at the start to boost your exploration abilities. Dude, this Once is you cool. Exploring a floor, you can move on to the next one for more resources. The resources you collect can be used to upgrade your skill tree while outside the game mode, giving you even more buffs for your next adventure. This is cool, man. And the neat thing a is, welcome addition. the buffs you get from the skill tree are completely up to you. So proxies can customize their skills to suit their style. Hell we yes. Talked about the gameplay. Let's discuss rewards. Right, boo. This is how there we get them. Permanent and limited time rewards. Besides polychromes, proxies can also get the new bang boo, night boo. I won't delve into the details here. Man, I'm gonna need a lot more time to be playing to this game and keeping up with it. That's all I'm saying. It's gonna oh, take forever. I heard that the HIA is hosting a new event too. There, proxies can engage in test battles with different buffs for each stage. Notably, they're offering stages where you can test out the new agent, of course. Hero Yagi. Of course. Utilizing specific buffs, proxies can try soloing the stage. Ooh! New ethereals to fight. So don't miss out if that sounds like something you're into. By the way, have you heard the buzz about breaded belief in New Eridu? They're gearing up to open a pop up store at Lumina Square soon. Wow. We're getting a sandwich shop. Bump into some familiar faces. Not only that, word has it that the chef needs some help to host a special group of lucky customers. This is not going to be as uh, convoluted as Chistopia, though. I hope. VIP customer at the store. And who knows? There might be. Okay, this is pretty cool. This is this is a welcome addition as well. I like this event. Little Bang Boo dreaming big dreams. Apart from this recruitment for catering services, a Bangboo coach has thrown out an invite too. The Enna Assistant Program event is coming your way in version 1.3. During this event, proxies can visit different Bangboo each day to accept tasks. Take photos for the Bangboo and assist the coach in checking on the results of their training. Those Bangboo can be a handful. We had something similar to this in the, the uh, of their training, in the last patch, right? Start similar. Don't let any distractions throw you off. Bang Boo always appreciate Again, a fun little event from proxies. So, besides the event rewards, you can also get some photo wall decorations in return. There's also a Bang Boo with a little cart handing out tasks, too. I like his mustache. Head over to the Help Kai event, complete tasks, and get some sweet rewards as thanks. By the way, have you heard? Sun Z Studio is opening up in Lumina Square. What is They're this? They're stocking up on all the latest gadgets. Swing by and check it out. Don't just window shop. If you see something you like, decorations for our room. Show off your latest finds on your display stand on the second floor of the video store. Sweet man. Treat yourself to something nice. In addition, customizations we'll always welcome. Double drops events for combat simulation and routine cleanup. So proxies, get your farming hats on. Cool, man. In version 1.2, you optimize the layout of the France system, expanding the size of the name card and adding a section to display titles and badges. Sweet. Proxies will be able to get various titles from events and from Agent Trust. You can only equip one title. And as for these badges, you can earn them from various game modes and have multiple on display at once. Of course, if you'd rather not show off any titles or badges, that's totally fine too. All quality of life stuff, man. Or toggle both off through your social settings. With all those events, proxies will have their hands full for a while. But wait, there's more. I know you've got a whole list of optimizations too. Good. Come on, spill. Let's see. Let's see what of other course, changes are implemented. In version 1.3, we've tweaked the functionality, appearance, and gadgets for the compendium. For example, we've improved how daily tasks are displayed under the errands tab. Now, even if your engagement is maxed out, you'll still see incomplete tasks marked out with the go to button for easy access. We've also revamped the weekly tasks at the very left under the errands tab. This update introduces a new interface and way to choose tasks, which refresh weekly. Mm. This update will drop on November 11th, a week after the new version is released. Moreover, the challenge tab has been renamed to combat for better clarity. Under the combat tab, you'll find new ways to access standard game modes, like the investigator training course in version 1.2 and the new game modes that will be added in version 1.3. 
We've added a new tactics tab on the far right side of the compendium. Proxies can use it to access combat tutorial stages. Getting more familiar with the mechanics, meeting learning targets, and obtaining first This is all like rewards. minor stuff in my Plus, opinion. Plus, you can access free training and your cooperation exercises from here too. All these training exercises are now conveniently grouped together. Yeah, and also, we've optimized the interfaces, layouts, stores, and the claiming of rewards for Notorious Hunt, Shiyu Defense, and Hollow Zero. We've also added a new related agent feature for Expert Challenge, Notorious Hunt, and Routine Cleanup, where proxies can now check agents who need the materials and disk drives. That's from useful. Each stage. That is a welcome addition. Because I'm sick of having to go back agents, to the agents menu and look at what reward or what materials, materials I need. Drive discs, w engines, and more. For example, we're adding a quick craft slash dismantle function in good. version 1.3. That's good. In the past, when you were short on materials, you could either craft with lower level mats, dismantle more advanced ones, or use comprehensive ones to fill in the gaps. However, only materials one level lower were considered before. With this update, the system now checks for materials across levels. Good. You can skip slogging through multiple interfaces, crafting level by level, and instead get everything you need on a Good. simple pop-up window. Provided you That's have welcome. necessary materials, of course. Yep. So, if you're running low on materials one level down, but have plenty of even lower level materials, you can craft across levels with a single action. I like it. But while I like the way she animates in the menus too, I'm not gonna lie. Materials into more advanced ones, then maybe we should let other items have a go too. You bet. In version 1.3, so we're, we're gonna be able to make different hi-fi master, master copies as well. So nice. Proxies will be able to craft more advanced tuning items to get more advanced drive discs. That really is handy. So less farming. Oh, yeah. That's and good. That's not the end of it. We've added a new sort by time to the drive disc menu. Then I can also sort my drive discs by when I got them and dismantle them in batches now too? Exactly. We've optimized the whole drive disc dismantling experience. We've made it so you can sort your drive discs when dismantling, making it a breeze to filter discs that you don't need. Plus, the old select all has been replaced by quick select. Just a tap. And you can select all drive discs of a That's specific useful. grade, or all those marked as discarded. We've added a new details button for dismantling drive discs and W engines. And the original filter button is now an icon with text for better clarity. These minor UI changes can really amp up the whole experience. It's good. It's welcome. Also, in version 1.3, there's nothing like you can pin your favorite agents and bang boo. That's nice. You can pin it's nothing too crazy, but like menu, it, it's welcome. Shop, bang boo it's quality of life stuff. But it's not like oh, fantastic! It's the best update and ever. When it comes to the, the quality of life changes. Music store. Now you can view more sets at once. Moreover, we've added quick access from the drive disc recommendations interface. Overall, these touches are all about smoothing out the bumps in your experience. Oh no, all that excitement drained my energy. Time for a cat nap. Huh? Wait! Hey, hang on a little longer. Lady Meow! Lady Meow! Don't worry, proxies. We're professional intel brokers. Even if we're nodding off, we'll stay hanging on. Well, that's a wrap for today's show. Thanks for tuning in. Well, I guess in. that's it. Catch you next time. Sheesh, dude. Bye. That's not bad. I can't complain. What is going on? Are we getting teased with something? Oh. Our enemies. The syndicate. Taking over. We got baddies to face, okay? Poof. Dude, it is looking good. That's all I'm saying, right? Anyway, that is going to do it for the reaction. We've got a lot of great things coming in version 1.3.
most excited for me personally about Yanagi. Uh, I really want to recruit her and try to get her powered up. And then also, of course, Lighter, uh, two fantastic looking characters. Uh, strange that we're not getting any kind of like main story content this time around, but at the same time, we do get a special episode, which is nice. And then we also get a uh, agent story as well. So that's good. Um, so I, I guess we're probably going to be following more along the lines of like every other patch is going to be a main scenario update, right? Um, at least currently based upon what we do currently have right um but anyways very much looking forward to it looks great can't complain i'm excited let me know your own thoughts down in the comments below and we will discuss uh again thank you guys very much for watching i really appreciate it so please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel for more zenless on zero content anywho that's gonna do it for me i'll see y'all for the next one take care peace